Hi kitties, welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about the skincare products that are just bad in my opinion. So let's begin with the Aqualogica sunscreens. I have seen a lot of people talking good about these sunscreens like it does not leave any white cast, it's very easily absorbed and does not make skin oily. But my issue with these sunscreens is that they still use benzophenone 3 which is also known as oxybenzone. Now it's a chemical sunscreen filter which is a little bit controversial it has a very small molecular size so it can penetrate deep into your skin it's also oil loving so it can go really deep into your skin which is what you don't want you want your sunscreen to sit on the top of your skin and that is why I have not been recommending Aqualogica sunscreens on my channel oxybenzone is an old and controversial chemical sunscreen filter Aqualogica could easily skip on it there's so many new sunscreens which are being launched in India itself which are oxybenzone free I have two sunscreens sunscreens from Aqualogica. First is Glow Plus Dewy sunscreen with papaya and vitamin C and the other one is Hydrate Plus sunscreen with coconut water and hyaluronic acid. Now the formulation is pretty good but the sunscreen filter is not. Also I don't know why they add so much colorants in their sunscreen like this sunscreen is coming out green. I also tried Aqualogica papaya plus vitamin C dewy juicy drop. It has a lot of glitter. I don't know about vitamin C but I can see so much glitter in this serum. It does give that dewy look but with glitters which you don't want in your skincare routine. I also tried Aqualogica Watermelon Plus Niacinamide Serum. Now it's literally water like do you see this? It's like water, toner consistency. Again, I have used better niacinamide serum in so much less price, so I wouldn't be recommending this. I've tried Aqualogica Vitamin C range, Hyaluronic Acid range, and Niacinamide range. And honestly, these skincare products remind me of Dot and Key. They add a lot of fragrance, colorants, and glitter, what not, into their skincare products. I think their target audience is somebody who does not know much about skincare. They just see cute packaging, smells nice, and they buy it. For me, ingredients, formulation, innovation and are they listening to their customers, do they care about their skin comes first. And these skincare products are speaking to me in a way like they don't care about their customer skin but their business. You guys also wanted me to try their moisturizers. I have their hyaluronic acid moisturizer and their niacinamide moisturizer. Now these moisturizers, in fact, all of their skincare products have one ingredient that is called Ifra Certified Allergen Free Fragrance. Just this one ingredient can contain up to 10, 20, 30, 50 chemicals and it's one of the ways of hiding the ingredient list. Now the hyaluronic acid has a very strong fragrance like it smells like cologne. However, there's one product that I did like from Aqualogica was the Radiance Plus Moisturizer. It's very reminiscent of Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask. Consistency is thick gel and it's very hydrating on the skin. So I did like this moisturizer moisturizer but I don't like how it smells it does not smell like watermelon now let's talk about what is happening to Neutrogena I recently tried their bright boost range and it is one of the worst skincare range from them their moisturizer is full of glitter it feels gritty even on my skin I will not recommend this to anybody and their illuminating bright boost serum again contains so much glitter as I'm massaging it into my hand it feels so gritty it hurts my skin this moisturizer is expensive 1240 rupees for glitter on your skin this range tells me they don't really care about our skin and I'm literally done with Neutrogena. I am not interested or looking forward to try the new launches. I also very recently tried Dot & Key Vitamin C and E Moisturizer and again texture was so lightweight, easily absorbed and did not make my skin oily. However, I did not see any long term results which I see from Vitamin C and Vitamin E skincare products and that's the issue with Dot & Key. They add a lot of fragrance and a lot of colorants into their skincare products and when you will initially use their skincare product you would really like it but in the long term they don't give much results there are so many other skincare products which are so much more affordable and does not contain fragrance or colorants and give so much better results you know I get accused that I don't try new skincare products which are being launched every other day or I'm repeating my skincare recommendations but the thing is that I am trying 
trying all the skincare products. I'm trying to save you from the skincare. I don't want you to waste your money on these skincare products and ruin your precious skin. That's why I don't talk about them, but I do try them. When I can talk about the products that work and show results, why would I waste my time on talking about the skincare products that don't? I think I've been blabbering a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna go and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye kitties.